What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to talk about how much money it really costs to get started on Amazon and all those hidden fees they're not telling you about. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ecom Dave and today I'm going to show you how much it really costs to get started on Amazon, right? All the way from buying your products in China to shipping them and to ranking those products on Amazon and all the fees that come in between that, all right? And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and add yourself to our private Facebook group family. I'll answer any questions you have there or you can leave them on the comments below and I'll get right to them. All right, with no further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, so cost number one is going to be your Seller Central account subscription, right? It's going for $39.99 a month. Um, Say, for example, you get your subscription now, but you don't launch a product three months from now. You can email them and you can get refunded for those three months that you haven't had any product in their warehouse, right? Here's a little tip for you because I love you. Uh, second cost is viral launch subscription, right? I have left a link on my description. You can get 15% off with that link. Uh, and we're gonna go over here and show you what you should get, right? Here we go, once you click on that link, the coupon is going to be automatically applied. <clears throat> and I recommend you get the pro seller, right? Um, why? Because um, you're going to get market intelligence, right? This is the Chrome extension, the one you see right here. This is what you're going to run once you're in your product's uh, market uh, to get the data to see if this uh, market or niche is the right fit for you, right? Um, you're also going to get product discovery. This is the tool that you use to find those markets, right? Um, it makes it super easy, right? It's got all these filters that makes your life a lot easier. And you can find a lot of um, really profitable products super fast, right? Um, third one you're going to get is competitor intelligence. Um, this is what I use to kind of do my spying on my competitors and see which keywords they are driving their sales from, right? This is going to be essential on on your ranking um, on your ranking part of your business, right? And once your product is already on the warehouse and you're trying to figure out which keywords to rank for, this tool is going to help you a lot. All right, keyword research, like the same thing, right? This is gonna help you find those other keywords that you didn't think about to put to right on your listing, right? And to rank for. Listing builder, listing analyzer, and keyword manager are both really great tools. Once your product is already, once your product is already uh, ranking, right? Keyword manager, it's incredible. It's gonna tell you, um, it's going, it's going to track all the keywords that you're currently ranked for and see if you're losing ranking on them and see if you have to run some PPC towards them so you can gain some rank, all right? So I strongly recommend you get this one. It's got everything you need. Uh, anything else, uh, it's, it's more for, you know, a more experienced sellers, but um, just go with the pro seller. Uh, you can pay monthly, but it's gonna cost you $85 a month. Um, and actually, don't think, I'm just doing this because I have an affiliate link. There are other, uh, obviously, product research tools that you can use. Uh, there's Jungle Scout and there's Helium 10. You're welcome to go look at those. I, I just recommend Viral Launch because it's what I use. It's the most user-friendly. Um, the third one is Sample, right? Um, it's gonna go anything, it's gonna go anywhere from $50 to $100. It all depends on what products you choose, right? But you will get refunded for this sample once you make your bigger order with your supplier, correct? Okay, uh, third one is, I mean, fourth one is your logo. Um, you're gonna get your logo from, uh, I usually get them from Fiverr, it's cost, just, just type in logo on when you go to Fiverr, that's F-I-V-E-R-R.com. And um, they usually go for, see, $5 here. You can just contact this person and you just give them your idea of your logo. And that's it. Uh, your barcode, right? You're going to, your barcode is a, what Amazon scans, right? And what you're going to type in on your, once you're creating your listing, right? Once you're creating your listing, it's going to ask you for 
a form of identification for your product and you need to buy a barcode for this, right? Um, where I get my barcodes from nationwidebarcode.com, you can buy one for $12 or if you buy them, you know, a uh, hundred, you can get them for 80 cents. It all depends on, you know, uh, how much budget you have to start. Obviously, the more you spend in the, in the beginning, the less it's going to cost you in the long run. Um, okay, so now we're getting to uh, the more, more expensive stuff, right? Okay, so what I, what I, when I first got, bought this product, I initially got 100 units, right? I negotiated my MOQ with my supplier to 100 units, right? And why did I do that? I know some gurus out there are like, no, you should start with 500 because you're going to need units to rank. But I strongly recommend <laughs> that I, I know it's going to cost a lot more in the beginning, right? Um, this is not going to be the best rate you're going to get from your supplier. But you need to validate your product before you make a bigger order, right? Obviously, by now, you've already done your due diligence. You've found a way to differentiate your product, to make your product better. Um, you know, you've, uh, you've run polls to Amazon sellers to see if they like your product idea more than the competitors, right? I, I show all this on my other videos, but I still like to validate it, right? I want, I want to put a couple units, right? I want to put 100 units on, on Amazon. I want to run PPC, and I want to see if it actually sells and if the uh, sales velocity get close to matching the ones at page one, right? So that's going to give you that. So... So like what I did, I bought, I just bought a hundred units, right? And, and um, my particular product was going, was costing me $5 per unit. So that's, that's a cost of $500, right? But I got those units on, um, on Amazon. I ran, I ran PPC, right? I'm profitable with PPC, right? I targeted like the most search keywords. And turns out with zero reviews, I still matched those, uh, those uh, those uh, daily sales of the listings on page one, right? So I validated my product. I said, okay, the market loves my product. Let's do it. So I went back and I bought 500 units, right? Now this cost me $2,500, right? I didn't really see much profit from the 100 units because I was running unprofitable PPC. That means that I was, you know, I was bidding, I was outbidding everybody, you know, I was getting, I was getting charged two dollars a click, uh, and I didn't really see a profit from that. But for your first and second order, you don't, can't think that you're gonna see a profit because the first order is simply to validate your product, and the second order is going to be to rank your product on as many keywords as possible, and then you don't start seeing a profit maybe on on not until your third restock or maybe the half of your second restock you start seeing some profit coming in but this is what i want you to think right this is what the other gurus are not telling you your your product needs to build momentum right so i say by the third restock you're not going to see any 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 um <clears throat> any profits right so the restock was 500 units right 2500 dollars now um, this eighth cost I put here at UPC label, um, if your supplier tries to charge you for adding those labels that Amazon creates when you're creating your shipping plan, right, um, it should be free, right? They shouldn't be charging you any extra costs for um, packaging your product or adding those labels. That should be included already with the cost of the unit, right? Now, the ninth cost is inspection right do it do it do it don't slack off especially if you're your first time working with a supplier get the inspection done right um i choose some other inspection companies charge a hundred dollars but i like to go with uh the best inspection companies because this is an important job right you don't want the people doing this half fasting their job and saying that your that your order it's good to go and it turns out it finally gets to Amazon and you start getting those bad reviews and it's gonna cost you a lot in the long run, right? So a good company that I like to use is VTrust, right? And the product inspection right here, it's cost $268, right, for a mandate. So that means that somebody is gonna go, once your 500 units are done, right? 
or, or your initial 100 units are done, they're gonna go and they're gonna inspect each product and make sure that everything is up to par with um, your requirements, right? Before you even release that 70% um, hold you have with Alibaba. So I strongly recommend get the inspection done, right? So that's another $268. Now, shipping. So I shipped my first 100 products air shipping uh, and it cost, uh, the shipping was 2.6 per piece, right, for the air shipping. So it was a total of $260 for the first 100 pieces. And then when I restocked, I also shipped on, on, um, on air shipping, right, which cost me $1,300. Now on the third restock, I usually like to ship by sea, which um, this product, I believe, is $0.90 cents per piece for sea shipping. So as you start ordering bigger orders, obviously your cost per product starts to go down and that means your profit margins start to go up and you're, you see where their momentum starts to build, right? Now, uh, product pictures, right? This is also something that I recommend not to slack on, but if you're on a tight budget, right, um, you can take a white background picture in your house of your sample, right? And then you can just contact, you can go on Fiverr again and you can just type in product picture. And then you see you have them for $10 and all that. But listen, um, I believe uh, the pictures are the most important part of your listing because people shop with their eyes, right? So um, I recommend viral launches of, <laughs> You can you also get a discount with my coupon, right? Uh, just a conversion starter kit, right? Five hundred and forty-seven dollars, and their pictures they come up with are amazing, right? And trust me, the pictures are going to make your conversion rate better, and it's gonna help you with the ranking, and it's just gonna make your life a whole lot easier. So I recommend if you have the budget, go with them. Um, I do my pictures with them all the time, and my products always kill it because of that it's people shop with their eyes right they don't i mean yes you can write great bullet points but at the end of the day think about you when you're buying a product right you just go on amazon you look at it with your eyes you kind of read the title and you're like okay that's me boom buy. so the pictures do all the work for you okay now the uh 13th um cost is your marketing right your ppc so this product that I recently launched has cost me a total of $2,300 on PPC. Heavy PPC, I didn't do any giveaways. I strongly just did PPC to get it onto page one and now it's stuck to page one, but it did cost me some money on, on PPC clicks, right? It's kind of a competitive um, keyword. Some others um, might cost you less, but I would say around 2,000 to 3,000 is what it usually costs to get ranked on page one for um, any product doing honestly like, I don't know, 6,000 6, or above a month, right? And the final cost is Amazon's early review and program. This is the only uh, TOS compliant way of getting reviews, right? Uh, Amazon has an early review program and they charge you $60 for those five initial reviews. So when I first bought my initial 100 units, I ran PPC and I got uh, five reviews within, I don't know, I wanna say two weeks of it. So when I restocked and I was ready to, um, you know, start ranking for all the different keywords, I already have five reviews on the listing and I was ready to go. So guys, to sum it all up, a total of 7,700 and twelve dollars right obviously I'm going to see some of the money from um, the sales that came in uh, when I was ranking with PPC but uh, you won't start seeing a pro I'm not gonna start seeing a profit until my third restock and this product I see is going to be making me four thousand dollars a month so I'll make my money back in about two months right <clears throat> Hi guys, I know you might be a little confused on what I mean by uh, PPC. PPC, it's, uh, it means pay-per-click, right? It's um, when, you, when you pay Amazon to show your listing, okay, your product on page one on the searches on Amazon, 
and they charge you a price per click, right? So let me show you what I mean. You know, let's say for example, you're, you're looking to buy a basketball. You see, this says right here, sponsored, right? So this, this is the, the marketing uh, part of, of the section uh, when you're selling on Amazon is that uh, when you're first validating your product, right? You wanna, you wanna um, kind of bid for PPC so your product shows up on page one uh, when everyone, whenever anybody searches and see if they buy your product, right? You gotta validate your product first. And then you're going to use this exact same thing to kind of um, <clears throat> rank, right? This is when you have already restocked and you have 500 units um, on 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 the warehouse, right? This is where you. This is how you're going to tell Amazon, like, hey, you guys should organically rank me on page one, right? Like, you guys see the, these listings right here. They don't say sponsor. That means they organically rank on page one because they've kind of already told the Amazon algorithm that, hey, whenever anybody searches this um, this keyword, they like to buy this product, and Amazon is going to put you there organically right and this is where you start making money from Amazon I want to show you guys here a quick screenshot of how much I really spent on you know uh, with PPC to uh, test the product right and then to actually rank it onto page one um, you see the total spent here is 3900 and the sales or 30 generated by the spent was 3800 and ACOS was 102 percent right average now this is obviously well above um, what I recommend your ACOS to be on a you know on a normal PPC campaign, but um, in order to rank for those keywords, right, um, you have to kind of do unprofitable campaigns if it's if you're trying to rank for a very competitive uh, market. Now, um, <clears throat> you guys see back here is when I first went in stock. Right, it was around April 4th, right, and I did some spending um, to get my listing onto page one. The blue line is spent, and you guys see this massive sales spike, right, and the sales kind of stayed consistent. So, um, this is when I knew that um, my product was a uh, winner, you know. Um, so then I went back on. <laughs> So then once I ran out of stock, right, I'm going to show you guys here the my rank history, right? So here's when the first one is stock, and you guys see actually Amazon ranked me on page one right away after they saw this massive sales spike, right? Uh, the page, they put, they ranked me on position two, I see here on page one, and then it brought me down, and then it kind of evened me out around like the 10th, the 10th position, you know, 20th position. Which is a good position to have, when, you know, when you just launched a product and you only have a hundred units. Uh, when I ran out of stock, I closed the listing. So this is where you guys see this declining line here. Um, and then when I, I'm gonna go back here. And then when I started going back in stock around uh, May 22nd, it did take a while to get back in stock because um, I'm guessing the warehouse on Amazon that it, it took a while. It took them like two weeks to get me fully in stock. So. Around June 7th is when I fully got in stock, right? And this is when I cranked up the PPC, right? And uh, <clears throat> as you guys can see here, once I cranked up the PPC and I started bidding, you know, um, doing aggressive bidding for all the keywords that I wanted to rank for, um, Amazon started organically ranking me, you know, on page one, you know, and it's of and I've stayed on page one now for I believe almost a month now. So as you guys can see, once I started ranking on page one, I've declined my spend on the PPC. I haven't turned it off all the way, right? You wanna kind of um still keep a main you kinda keep some maintenance, right? So you can keep kind of that original uh those original daily sales that you had with the aggressive ppc right so amazon kind of keeps you on page one and you kind of want to slowly decline never turn off your ppc right um obviously i can i can do another video on to how to uh lower your eight costs or your ppcs if you guys would like if you want me to please comment below um Amazon PPC and I will make a video strictly on how to rank on with PPC and how to manage your eight cost um, Percentage all right, please if you have any questions uh, Just leave them in the comments below as well or add yourself to our Facebook group page um, You can contact me directly. All right. I hope you guys 
hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was a lot. Um, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next. Thank you again for watching. Thank <laughs> you.